Hello everyone, Yuki from Entopology, and today we're going to take a look at an end effector. End effectors are a device at the end of a robotic arm, and they're designed to interact with the environment, and they usually consist of a gripper or a tool. We're going to take a closer look at the gripper from this robot assembly we have today, and light with it using some topology optimization. Let's get into it! So with our imported robot assembly here, we isolated the part that we want to work on, in this case the gripper, and set up the part to get it ready to run the topology optimization. We first meshed our part from surface to volume, we then specified our material. In this case we're using one of our predefined materials aluminum, but you can also add in your own custom isotropic or ophrotropic material as well. Next we added our load cases. We can easily select the boundaries we want to use from our mesh by simply right clicking on the area then using it as our boundary for in this case either our support or force. Lastly, we can specify some constraints before the topology optimization can run. Since we want to reduce the material being used on this part, we're using this block called Volume Fraction Constraint, which allows us to define how much material we want to remove. Now with all of our components ready and set up, we can then run our topology optimization and get our result. One of the first things you'll notice is that the surface is very bumpy and not ideal, but we can very easily smoothen it out by taking our raw result, converting it to an implicit, then putting it in this block called smoothen body, which smoothens our surface. During the process, we did lose a couple of key features such as our holes, but we can bring it back and attach it to our topology optimized part using a couple of Boolean operations. And to top it off, we added some lattices on key areas such as these struts to reduce the chance of buckling. Now with our final part ready, we can then mesh and export to manufacture. Now if there are any changes that need to be made such as adding extra constraints or using a different non-converged iteration of the topology optimized result, we can easily go back into our workflow and change up those inputs. Maybe you're printing this on an FFF printer, we can add some overhang constraints and rerun the topology optimization and get a new result that's viable for 3D printing. Maybe you didn't need as much material removed or vice versa, you can go back to the result and use the iteration slider to find your ideal optimized part. Now why would you want to do this? Topology optimization is a great technique to lightweight some parts, reduce the weight without sacrificing structural integrity, reduce design iterations, and shorten manufacturing and testing times. The topology optimization done on this part today on this end effector can also be applied to elsewhere on this assembly such as the bracket, some of the plates, or maybe even the base. I hope you got a good understanding of how you can use this topology optimization to lightweight your parts such as an end effector today. Thank you and I hope you learned something new today. If you want to download this Entop file, go to Entopology.com under Resources, Videos, find this Entop Live, and at the bottom, just fill out this form and download the Entop file. If you want to learn more about Entopology, contact us by filling out a form to speak with an Entop expert. Lastly, check out our support page at support.entopology.com and type your questions here if you have any other questions. Thank you!